Right now, more than a dozen Detroit public school teachers and even some students are getting together and they're meeting, talking about the possibility of more sick outs for next week. Priya Mann is live on Detroit's West Side right now with all the details. Priya. Sandra, Steve, teachers tell me they are planning for even more sick outs, which will ultimately lead to school closures, and they're hoping to have a citywide movement by early next year. There's going to be much more than seven schools involved in the coming weeks. We are going to win this fight. After several school closures last week, these activists are planning for even more. An awful lot of groundwork to be done to prepare a citywide mobilization and citywide strike for quality schools. More than 4,000 students were unable to attend classes last week after Detroit teachers called in sick. Some teachers are protesting cuts to health benefits and a lack of resources. I want enough books in all my classrooms. I want technology that works. I want enough teachers so that we can get um, class sizes that we can actually teach. And are sick the way to get it? I think coming together in direct action is the way to fight for what we need. In a statement, Detroit Public Schools said this continued abuse of sick time by a small group of DPS teachers does nothing to help the district achieve its goals of approving academic achievement and becoming a solvent and sustainable school system. Students at the meeting today were outspoken about the realities of their education. At my school, like the like all of the program, almost all of the programs have been hacked away at, and you've seen a constant decline in the in the resources in the and in the quality of those extracurricular programs. The governor last week tweeted this, we must focus on kids. My plan takes $1,100 per student now spent on debt and invest it in the classroom instead. And the governor has proposed creating a new public school district to allow DPS to focus solely on the debt. Activists here today do not support that proposal. Reporting live from the west side, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.